YouTube! What's good? Pistol 9 here, back in with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be talking about what's been going on with the Miami Dolphins over the last week and a half or so. And oh baby, it is a lot. So strap on your seatbelts because we are in for a wild offseason and it is going to be nothing but awesome. First and foremost, we got our guy. We got the guy that I picked for head coach a about a month ago when I made that video. The guy who I believe will lead the Dolphins into a new era of Dolphins football. The former offensive coordinator of the San Francisco 49ers and now the current head coach of the Miami Dolphins, Mike McDaniel. And I'm pretty sure you all saw the videos on Instagram and Twitter when he was introduced. I mean, check your pulse if you're not fired up. Plus, have you seen the ice cream? That is so cool. In that 60 second clip, he showed more personality than the last three head coaches combined. More than Joe Philbin, who couldn't motivate anybody to make a sandwich. More than Adam Gase, and the less said about that, the better. And more than Brian Flores, who, let's be honest, working for him must have been like walking on eggshells. I mean, seriously, when you're on this win streak, this seven game win streak, you stop communicating with your position coaches, you stop talking to your position coaches, since Thanksgiving? And then, you tell your franchise quarterback, who's still learning the NFL system, coming off of major injuries, not just in the past, but this past season as well, that they should have drafted Mac Jones instead? No wonder why we got our asses kicked by the Tennessee Titans 34-3 and missed the playoffs by one game. It ruined Tua's confidence, no doubt about it. He was a huge egomaniac, and change needed to happen. But let's not dwell on the past because the future is bright here in South Florida as Coach McDaniel is already putting together his staff. And I got to say, I am impressed as hell with the personnel coming to the Dolphins. First off, we are bringing back Josh Boyer, who was our defensive coordinator last season. And that's huge because, like I've always said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We're also bringing back... Eric Studville, who was uh, one of our two offensive coordinators last season, which honestly was still a stupid idea, but he's going to be our running backs coach. Austin Clark is returning as our defensive line coach. Charles Burks is returning as our cornerbacks coach. And Anthony Campanelli is returning as our linebackers coach. And Danny Crossman is returning as our special teams coordinator. New coaches coming to the Dolphins include John Embry, who will be the tight ends coach and the assistant head coach, and he is formerly of the San Francisco 49ers. Matt Applebaum, formerly of Boston College, whose offensive line ranked second in 2021, he will be the team's offensive line coach. Frank Smith will be our offensive coordinator. He is formerly of the Los Angeles Chargers, and he was their run game coordinator and their offensive line coach. And that is huge that McDaniel has got not one, but two coaches to deal with our weakest position in the offensive line because for years our offensive line has been one of if not the worst in the entire NFL and last but certainly not least our new wide receivers coach is Wes Welker that's right that Wes Welker no not that one no not that one no definitely not that one never show that one again stupid Patriots wait when did he play with the Chargers that's better that's the Wes Welker I know. That is going to be huge for our wide receivers, no doubt about it. The only position coach left needed to be filled is the assistants and the quarterbacks coach, which we need someone that will do nothing but help to a tongue of Iloa. Like I said, the future is nothing but bright for the Miami Dolphins. The free agency just under a month away. It's going to be interesting to see who will be back for the 2022 season. What will happen with Mike Kosicki? Do we re-sign him or possibly put him on the franchise tag? What do we do with Emmanuel Agba, who has been a huge contributor on our defensive line and one of our best defensive players in general? What about Matt Collins? He was one of two as deep threats and has been an ace on special teams. What about Duke Johnson? I think it's huge that he's playing for his hometown team, but will he be back? What about Philip Lindsay? If we bring back both Duke Johnson and Philip Lindsay, I believe both of them would be a great one-two punch in the backfield. Shifting gears from our coaches and free agents to what's going on with our owner, Stephen Ross. As yesterday, it was reported that if the NFL finds evidence of the Dolphins purposely tanking and giving Brian Flores $100,000 per loss, he could lose ownership of the team via owner vote. And that is massive. But it probably won't matter because it's going to be sold to his apprentice 
aka another New York real estate guy that doesn't know diddly dick about the sport of professional football. Now, I'm not a personal fan of this particular team, but I wish we had an owner like Jerry Jones because he and his family put the team first. It should never be a side project like it is for all these other owners. The team should always come first and foremost. Back to Mr. Ross. I know, I know for a fact that I am not the only Dolphins fan that wants this clown out. Since he's been our owner, we have had three winning seasons, one playoff appearances, five head coaches, and two interim head coaches. Tony Sperano, Mr. Field Goal Fist Pump himself, rest in peace. Todd Bowles, I forgot about that one too, trust me. Joe Philbin, Dan Campbell, Adam Gase, Brian Flores, and now Mike McDaniel. I am so damn tired of doing this every three years. I really hope that this is the one. I really hope Mike McDaniel coaches us for the next decade plus. One more thing. Make the throwbacks the permanent uniforms. It's not just nostalgia. It is culture. It is history. The Miami Dolphins should look like the Miami Dolphins. The current look, this represents, without question, the worst decade of Dolphins football I have ever seen in my entire life. Bring back the throwbacks 100%. Anyways, that is it for this video today. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the Dolphins hires and what we should do in free agency. As always, please subscribe and like. It does help out the channel. Also, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. And as always, this is your boy, Apezzle90, saying peace out and fins up. Baby!